a little bit grungy and a little bit, you know, a little bit bad, you know, I mean, we're hitting each other. Can't just put us in suits and skate in circles. So roller derby, on a roster you have 14 girls. And on the track, at a time, are five girls from each team. You have the jammers, those are the ones that are all the way in the back on the last line with the star on the helmet. The, uh, the quarterback, they, they score the points for the team. And then in front of them you have a pivot that is the one that has the stripe on the helmet and she calls all the shots. And then you have the other blockers and they just do what she says. Because each group of blockers is called a pack. One whistle blows, tweet, both teams start to move. Two whistles blast, and it's tweet tweet, and then the jammers are released. So the jammers are racing, trying to get through the packs. So once they make it through, they have to skate one lap, and that is called the initial pass. And they start passing us again. For each team, uh, for each girl, the opposing team's hips that you pass, you get a point. So you can get, in one pass, you can get four points. The team with the most points at the end wins. Basically, roller derby. <laughs> in a nutshell. Have I been injured? Yes. Um, I have had a broken rib, a busted ankle, many, many bruises, and um, knee issues. It's, it's all part of the sport. But a sport is a sport is a sport. You're going to get injured, whether it's football, whether it's hockey, whether it's lacrosse, even, even badminton. This derby, there's an average life I'm told of about three years. It's tough on the body. It's a huge commitment. Um, you've got to love it. The Derby girls are really tough and they will try to hide everything. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I know better. So I can walk over and say, I know you're not fine. So, you know, lay off the, the BS. You know, just tell me what, you know, what's up. Uh, the more time you spend with the girls uh, and the more you watch them skate, the more you know them individually. On the flip side of that, the girls love, they're very enthusiastic about their injuries. say we're Little League up and coming. We just made um, apprenticeship with the WFTDA, which is huge for us. The WFTDA is basically the uh, NFL, MLB of roller derby. We have um, the Savannah Derby Devils has uh, the A team and the B teams. Uh, B team is the Savannah, uh, the host of City Hellions, and then you have the Savannah Derby Devils All-Stars. And um, I remember times when I was a fresh meet that we barely had enough girls to make a roster. 
and in the last two years it just exploded. We're skating at Super Goose, we've been skating at the Civic Center. Because we are so many girls now, it has become very competitive. So for me to be able to be on the All-Stars, I really have to bust my butt to make it um, on the roster over and over. And um, it's just, uh, there's a lot of hungry girls out there. And they all want my spot, but I am not giving it up because I like skating on the All-Stars. <laughs> We skate year round, so it's it's nonstop derby. And uh, they work hard and they play hard. But at the same time, they are the teachers that are teaching your kids. They are the nurses that are you know stitching you up after you know hospital visit. You know, you know there are reporters like myself and a couple of others on this team. Um, we're professionals. We're just because we enjoy a different type of sport um, doesn't mean that you know you can actually categorize them as a stereotypical you know. What makes them stereotypical, in my opinion, is their confidence. It's an empowering game, and it gives the, these women, you know, the confidence they need to be able to say, "I can do this. I can do anything." And and so, for me, it's not so much stereotypical of what a lot of the people think of when they think of, you know, oh, tattooed roller derby girls. For me, it's yes, these are empowered women, and that's the stereotype that I would hope that folks that came and experienced roller derby could see if they actually talked one-on-one -on -one to these players and learned who they are. That was also one thing that I took from the Derby Devils was the confidence of going and enrolling in a, in a college. I always thought, oh, I can't do this. And when I passed all the tests with the Derby Devils, I was like, college is going to be a breeze. So, yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, I kind of can't imagine my life without it. So a lot of us, I'm a little older now, the knees are a little shaky, but it's hard to let go because Derby's kind of amazing. I mean, it just celebrates everyone. You never f feel like you have to be anything except for yourself because everybody else is just themselves. So um, it's very easy to become, to really uh, mesh with the group and, and to uh, really enjoy being around the ladies. Um, they're just very, all of them are very strong and powerful women um, and they're so, their backgrounds are all so diverse. Uh, it's just, it was a very interesting group of, of people to get to know. We really have a little bit of everyone. We have girls with lots of tattoos and girls with no tattoos at all. We have um, young, we have old. We, it's, it really is a sport I think that embraces everyone. I think no matter your size, there's a place for you on our team because you need fast and agile and you need slow and steady, you need blockers, you need jammers. So there are stereotypes out there, but on our team and many that I've seen, quite frankly, people really are quite different. It, I think uniqueness is a nice thing to bring to the table and I think Derby supports that 100%. We're all equal. I don't care how old you are. If you can keep up and pass me, if that happens, I'm happy for you, but I'm going to try to chase you down. I don't see I don't see ages. I see teammates and skaters and I see women that are out there with the same mission that I have. And um if you are 50 and past me, then damn, I'm going to chase your ass because I want to be 50 and passing people. We literally have girls from, you know, 21 to like I said, I'm 47. Uh, and I'm only the oldest person on the team now because one of our girls moved to California. Foxy, Moxie skated with us for one or two seasons. She was 54. They're all they're they're all sisters. So if one if one's hurt or one's hurting, they're all hurting. They all they're a very very tight support system. There's so much love just around us, and we understand that if we if if there's something where we don't like each other, we still understand the sport and we understand that we're part of a team and we just have one goal together and we support each other on the track and off the track. The team is definitely a second family. I mean we spend six to ten hours together a week and you are skating in close proximity so definitely a family. But when you show up there is no judgment. It doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, how pretty you are, how skinny, fat, whatever. You're there to skate, just like we are there to skate. And it doesn't matter, you know, what you look like. As long as you put work out on the track, you are welcome. We all create ourselves, you know, it's like, like we, we make our own little derby persona. 
I just think it's a sport that embraces everyone. And what can you ask for more than that? I mean, really, if you have the determination and want to do it, you totally can. It's amazing. It's all female. Everybody works so hard. It is mostly volunteer-based, which, so these girls aren't just showing up to practice a couple hours a week here and there. They're running the bouts and handling the marketing and doing the work. It is like a business on a lot of senses because everybody is doing their part. It's awesome. We're all, we all have our own little, our own little story, and our own little baggage, but Derby brings us together and we're able to bond together and skate together and all have a common goal. So there's really, you can't really say, you know, you have to be a certain girl to be a Derby girl. You can be any kind of girl. Like a bear.